What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up button to be notified for future readings. It's free general collective reading for all signs. Cap two, Sagittarius, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with us. I received another channeling. Um, I'm drawing my spiritual bath right now, so I wasn't planning on doing it, but I received it, so I'm going to get it out there. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, let everybody know I'm making a deck of my own. I'm drawing the inspiration from this deck, which I use it quite often. But I'm drawing the inspiration from this deck. I'm going to hand, art, um, hand draw all the pictures and make the deck like completely from scratch. So it's going to take me a while. But when I release it, I'll let everybody know, okay? But this is my favorite deck, other than the tea leaves. This is my second, very close second favorite, but I'm going to, the first deck I'm going to make is I'm going to draw inspiration from this. Now, obviously, I'm not going to copy this deck. I'm just drawing my inspiration from it, but I'm literally going to hand illustrate it all, though. So it's going to take me a while. Okay. When it, I release it, I'll let everybody know. Okay. So this is heavy Capricorn energy. Like I said, I was in there drawing my bath, and then all of a sudden I get it. So I was like, okay, I'm I'm in here. Just saying. Heavy caps energy. And there's several of them. I'm just saying, okay. I feel for majority of you guys, you know these people is what I feel. But you plug in how it resonates. Okay, so I heard um Capricorns, uh, like plural, two or two plus Capricorns, uh, uh that intentionally kept a feminine energy stuck in the past. Um I heard for one they're Mason, one they're in school. And um, one, they work in corporate, and one, they are a model. So one, they're a mason, one, they work in corporate, um, one, they are in school, and one, they are a model. They intentionally kept a femme energy stuck in the past, I heard, in an abusive situation. Um, so they intentionally kept someone stuck in an abusive situation. One is an RN. One is an RN. And one is a manager, and one is a manager. So one is an RN, a registered nurse like me. So one's an RN, a registered nurse like me, and one is a manager. So a manager of something. Um, and one works in logistics. And one works in logistics. There's seven. Holy crap. And one works in logistics. There's at least seven. I mean, it could be two people that works in logistics and five RNs for all we know. But um, it's at least seven energies. You have to plug these people in how they resonate, but they intentionally left a femme energy stuck in an abusive situation in the past, intentionally. Um, but I heard they are about to start receiving very heavy negative karma. So, of course, I think you guys know these people in the 3D. So you have to plug, I don't think you're, for some, you could be these people. For some, I think for majority of my collective, you know these people. So you have to plug these people in how they resonate. But I heard they're about to, um, Oh, and one's a mason. One's a mason. I forgot to say that, too. And one's a mason. I don't know if I already did. I heard mason in there, too. One's a mason. But how that resonates, I heard, um, so they intentionally left a thin energy, intentionally stuck in an abusive situation. I heard they're about to start experiencing very heavy negative karma. I heard the one in school, their grades are about to start tanking into the ground, like severely tanking. Um, severely tanking. Mental health issues, exacerbation in a huge way. Oh, okay. So for the one in school, um, whoever that person is, whatever caps that is, they're, it sounds like they're cur currently in school in the energetic space. Um, I'm assuming these are adult energies. They're all adults. Okay, it's confirmation. They're all adults. They're all adults. So it's not teenager or children in school. This is adults in school. So I'm feeling 18 or 18 plus in school. Um, whoever the caps in school 18 or 18 plus is, but heard their grades are about to start tanking in a huge way. So like plummeting, like severely. That's for the one in school. Um, um, I heard the Mason, the Mason shocking series of chain events are about to occur with their, their particular Mason group. Um, and I heard people are about to start unexpectedly, um, um, having unexpected negative things occur for occur for them in the mason group um 
very negative, unexpected things. So the one in the Mason group, there's about to be some kind of shocking series of chain events. It sounds like to several members in this this particular Caps Mason, this Capricorn's Masonry group, to many of the Masons in their group. Very negative tower moments. Very negative. Very negative tower moments. Very negative. So very negative tower moments to many members in the Masonry group in this Capricorn Mason group. Um, However, that resonates and applies. And in one of these situations, someone is going to break into the Mason Lodge and deface property and steal a very important ledger. Very important ledger. Okay. Um, okay, so... How that resonates for the Masonry Lodge, the Mason group. It sounds like many people in the Mason group are about to experience very negative tower moments. So that could be illness, mental health illness, motor vehicle accident, or anything negative. It could be anything negative. It could be breaking a pinky toe for all we know. But um, several of them. So in the Masonry group. But in one of the Mason groups, so it's, I think it might be two or two plus Mason groups, or the same Mason group, how that resonates. One of them, the Mason group, the Mason Lodge, I heard, the Lodge. The Mason Lodge is about to be broke into, and I heard it, it's going to be defaced. Like, it sounds like somebody's going to vandalize it, vandalize it and destroy item or items in there. Um, and a very important ledger is going to be stolen. So you play in how it resonates. And the door will be left swinging wide open. These people do not care. They know what you've done in the past. Oh, my God. Okay, so some kind of very important ledger is going to be stolen. The lodge is going to be vandalized. And um, the door is going to be left swinging open. Whoever's about to break into it, they don't care. And it doesn't sound like the break-ins happened yet. Um, just saying, just saying. The security line to the security system will be cut. Someone knows where it is already. Somebody needs to hear this. Oh, my God. I heard the security line to the security system will be cut. Okay, so whoever is in this Capricorn Mason group, I think you watch my channel. And I'm just being for real. At least one of you do. I'm serious. I think you watch my channel or so, or somebody's going to show you this video, how that resonates. But somebody already knows where the line is to your security system there, sir, ma'am, Mason. Um, and I heard basically uh, they're, they, they're going to cut it. They know where it is and they're going to cut it. It sounds like they're going to be very strategic. Um, and apparently they're going to end up, somebody's going to, in this situation, is going to end up stealing a very important ledger and vandalize the property and they don't give a shit. So you plug it in, how it resonates. That's for the Mason group. So we have the one in school, adult in school, the Mason group. Let me go check on my water for the spiritual bath. I'll be right back. I apologize. Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay. And then let me see if I hear anything else. I'm trying to think if I, I thought there was something else, but I forgot it. So I'll have to see if I remember it. The RN is about to experience extreme health decline, extreme health decline, will probably end up retiring early, very soon. The RN is about to start experiencing very extreme health decline, extreme, they will probably end up retiring soon. So there is an RN in this mix, a registered nurse like me, um, but whoever the RN is, I think you guys know this RN. Um, registered nurse, I heard they're going to start experiencing extreme health decline. They will probably end up retiring soon. Um, sounds like early retirement. 
Um, but of course, RNs can make very good money depending on where you work and your situation and your spe specialty and your where you know bonuses, sign-on pay, um, uh, incentive pay, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, how that resonates and applies. Let me see if I hear anything else. And a Capricorn that stole money from their sister through many series of chain events, they're about to be forced to have to pay it back. You are in this group. You know who you are. Oh, my God. And whoever's in this group, there's a late, at least eight or nine people in, up in here at least. So some Capricorn, masculine or female Capricorn, they stole money from their sister in the past. I heard through many series of chain events. You're in this group. I heard you know who you are, so you know who you are there, Caps. But you stole money from your sister, and you know you did. I heard through many series of chain events, you're about to have to pay it back. So whoever you are, um, I'm not in the art of stealing, So, but apparently you are. So whoever you are and how that applies, that could be a biological sister, a half-sister, somebody, a tall sister. I don't know. I'm not a thief. So I'm just saying. The one in corporate is about to start getting extremely bullied. Extremely. They never thought it would happen, but it is about to start happening. They are the new kid on the block. If they don't quit, they're going to wish they did. Oh my God, that's terrible. Nobody should be bullied, harassed, and targeted in the workspace. I just want to make that clear. Nobody should. And that's just the truth. But it happens. I have been. Um, I've been a victim of um, bullying, targeting, harassing, and uh, targeted tar targeting behavior in my workplace. I also think I was a victim of racism, too. Um, I can't prove it, but I strongly feel I was a victim of racism in my workplace for me personally in the past. And that's just the truth. Um, but... Like I said, I can't prove the racism because they didn't actually say it to my face. But behind the scenes, I know they were talking behind my back. And it's because I was white. And I'm just being for real. Uh, but like I said, I can't prove it. But anyways, it's not right. Nobody should experience racism or bullying, targeted, harassing, gang stalking. Um, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in it. Um, but it does happen. People are very nasty, especially in workplaces. They get very competitive and very dirty and very nasty and I, i've experienced a lot of that in my lifetime that's just the truth but anyways for the one you capricorns in corporate that fits in this situation only you would know who you are not anybody else i feel for some of you guys you know this person but they're in they work in corporate so they work actually in a corporate they work in a corporate conglomerate but they work in corporate actually in corporate but i heard um they're they're a newbie so i don't think they i think they might have got promoted into corporate or they started a new position in actually in corporate, but I don't feel they've been there very long. I don't I don't know if it's a masculine or femme caps. It's a feminine Capricorn. It's a feminine Capricorn. It's femme caps. Um, your femme caps, ma'am. If you watch my channel, I don't know if you do or you don't, but I heard you're about to start getting extremely bullied, targeted, harassed, bullied and targeted and harassed basically, because um, you're the new kid on the block in corporate. Heard you never thought it would happen, but it is about to happen. Um, now you work in corporate, so I'm assuming you probably make really good money. I'm assuming I've never worked in corporate, but, um, I'm assuming you probably do, but, and I heard you never thought it would happen, but it is about to start happening. Your fem caps, this resonates for you. I heard if you don't quit, you're going to wish you did. So of course you only, you have the free will to put your resignation in or go out, walk out the door storming or however you handle it. Um, you work in corporate. I hope you do it a little more professionally than that, but you plug in and how it resonates, ma'am. Um, I, I don't wish that upon anybody because I have been a victim of racism in workplace before. I have been a victim of, um, jealousy in workplace before. I've been a victim of, um, secret competitiveness in workplaces before. Um, I've been a victim of sabotage in workplaces before. So I don't wish any of that upon anybody in workplaces. I'm just being serious.
For the one in logistics, your whole workplace is about to find out about your daughter in an affair with the stepfather. It is about to embarrass the hell out of you. And she's been running up your credit card. Oh my God Almighty. Whoa. So the one that one of you works in logistics, you're a Capricorn fam. And you're a Capricorn fam too. So you're a Capricorn fam and you work in logistics. And I heard, uh, oh my God. So it sounds like your daughter, whether it's your biological daughter, stepdaughter, foster daughter, or somebody you call a daughter, apparently she's having an affair with the stepdaddy. So I don't know if it's your husband or somebody else's husband, but somebody's stepfather, I'll tell you that. I don't know if you already know about this or you're about to find out about it yourself, ma'am, but that's terrible. Um, if it's your husband, that's like incest. Oh my God almighty. You plug it in where it resonates, but I heard stepfather, so I don't know if it's her stepfather or somebody else's stepfather, um, but her, the, her, your entire, um, your entire office is about to find out about your daughter, it sounds like your biological foster or somebody you call a daughter in a work in a, in an affair with the stepfather. So whether it's her stepfather and it's incest or it's somebody else's stepfather, I strongly feel it might be your husband, ma'am, or ex-husband. Um, I didn't hear it was, but intuitively I feel it is because I've been pulling in a lot of incest in here recently. Um, and I heard she's also been running up your credit card and you're about to find that out too. So it sounds like all these people are about to get very negative karma in very different ways is what it's sounding like here. Um, how that resonates and applies. Dear Lord Almighty. And the one in school right now, a very significant pipe in a basement is about to explode. Explode. Your basement has been flooded before, and this time it's about to flood worse than it did before, and you thought it couldn't get worse before, but it is about to. It's about to cause huge damage to very expensive items. You do have insurance. Oh, my God. Whoa. So the one in school where your grades are about to plummet, basically. I didn't hear what you're studying, but you are 18, 18 plus. Um, apparently there's a significant pipe in your basement. You have a basement, whoever you are, um, caps, you're a Capricorn feminine. You're a captain. You're a lot of fins in here. You're a caps fem, 18, 18 plus, and you're in school studying something. But I heard there's a very significant pipe in your, it was very detailed, a very significant pipe in your basement. Apparently your basement has been flooded before, but it's about to flood again by this very significant pipe in your basement. I heard it's just about to explode. So it sounds like it's just about to burst. It doesn't sound like it's happened yet, but it's upcoming. And I heard you never, um, that apparently the flooding of the basement in the past was pretty bad. You didn't think it could get any worse, but I heard it's about to get a worse. A lot worse. A lot worse. My God, a lot worse. So it's about to get a lot worse. And apparently it's going to destroy many expensive items. Apparently your basement's very nice. It sounds like it's probably a finished basement is what I'm presuming. Um, but it has been flooded before and I heard you have insurance though. So if you have insurance, hell you can, I mean, you just claim it on the insurance. Uh, but apparently you've got some expensive ass shit down there. It sounds like it's finished basement. But however that resonates and applies, Capricorn fam in school. And one of these Capricorns' neighbors is about to commit a hate crime against them. They're not going to want you to know it's them. And they will not, you will not know it's them. It's going to keep happening. It's going to keep happening. And it's going to keep happening. It will be on your property and it will be harassing. And they will not let you know it's them but it will be them. 
For one, it's someone directly beside you. For one, it's someone down your street. They secretly cannot stand you or your family. They want you to move. Oh my God, that's terrible. That is terrible. That I didn't hear what, what it was though. I was waiting to see what the hell it was. Let me see if I hear what it was. It's, it sounds like it's at least two of you in this group, crazy group that left a them energy strategically in an abusive situation in the past. Sounds like this is negative karma coming back for these people. This is terrible. But there's at least two of you Capricorns in this group this resonates with because one of you guys, your neighbor that secretly hates you and they don't want you to know they do, they live directly beside you. So I feel like directly beside you, one, they live down the street. But they're going to be very sneaky about this hate crime. And I heard it's going to be very reoccurring. It's going to keep happening and happening and happening and happening. And it's going to be something on your property. So whatever the hell it is, I didn't hear specifically what it was, but it's something to do with something on your property or your property, period. And it's going to keep happening over and over, like reoccurrently, over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. One of you guys is somebody that lives directly beside you. One of you guys is somebody that lives down the street from you. But in both of these situations, they secretly hate you, but they don't want you to know you do uh, that they do. But they want you to move. And that's why they're going to keep doing this hate crime. That is terrible. I don't wish that upon anybody. This hate crime is about to piss you off. And you're going to try to figure out who's doing this, but you will not figure it out. They know about all the cameras and security in the entire neighborhood. Oh, my God. I heard the hate crime is going to really piss you off. I still didn't hear what it was. So I guess you guys got to figure out what it is. But when it happens, it hasn't happened yet. It's at least for two of you. But it's reoccurring. It's reoccurring. It's going to keep happening over and over and over again. It's something to do with something on your property or something to do with your property. Like, period. And I feel it's your home property. Like, the property you live on. Because they don't want you to live beside them. They, they can't stand you. But they secretly can't stand you. They just don't want you to know. So that's why they're about to start doing this, whether they live directly beside you or down the street. But I heard basically um, they know in both of these, it sounds like both these situations, they know exactly where all the security cameras are in the entire neighborhood. So you're not going to figure out, I heard you're going to try hard to figure out who it is, but you're not going to figure out who it is. So it sounds like they've been planning this shit. It sounds like they haven't, can't stand your eyes for a while. Um, and I hate to put it like that, but I'm just being serious. That's terrible. These are about to start happening very fast. Very fast. These Capricorns are about to start getting very stressed out. This is about to start happening very fast, very fast. These Capricorns are about to start getting very stressed out. Well, hell yeah, I'd say so. That's I don't wish hate crimes and workplace nastiness upon anybody because I've never been a victim of a hate crime, but I have been a victim of severe workplace bullying, targeting, harassing, and sabotage. And I would never wish that upon anybody, and I'm just being serious. Um... So these are terrible things. So I heard you guys, whoever is about to experience this shit, you're, you're about to get very stressed out. Hell yeah, I would say so. And a motorcycle gang is very integral in one of these situations. Especially a black motorcycle with flames. Oh my, what? And a motorcycle gang is very integral in one of the, for one of you guys, I'm feeling, or... One of these situations, so one of you guys, I'm presuming, a motorcycle gang, and it's specifically a black motorcycle with some flames. So maybe you own a black motorcycle with flames, or somebody you're connected to owns a black motorcycle with flames. I think it's somebody in the motorcycle gang owns a black motorcycle with flames. Only you know your situation story, not anybody else, okay? I love you guys. Namaste.